first, live, local. This is Fox 12 Now. Hello everyone, I'm Greg Nibbler. This is Fox 12 Now. As always, I usually say this, but I do appreciate you joining us. We are live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, our website and our apps. And of course, you can watch all of our segments after they happen on each one of those platforms. And we cover a wide range of topics. Today, we're talking about a couple of things, mainly a company based here out of Portland, Oregon, that is looking to revolutionize insulation. So a little bit of context here for this interview that you're going to be watching. Uh, the company, SolarCore, uh, uses a material that is used by NASA. Quick explanation, and they go into this in much more detail, but when we talk about going into space, obviously the extreme colds of that, you have, uh, you need, it's required to have a lot of insulation in order to make that work. So we're talking about things like the Mars rover. In order to keep that machinery running, to fight off of that extreme cold, you have to have insulation. That's called aerogel. Well, this company has figured out a way to use that material, change it up, and expand it into textiles and material that can be used in things like clothing, or shoes, or far even beyond that. And again, local company from Portland, Oregon, that's working on this and has been doing this. So we went out to talk to them at the Northwest Material Show, which is a trade show that was happening here in Portland uh, a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, or last week, actually, I think technically, depending on when you're watching this. And so we, we got to talk to, to the founders, Michael Marksbury, uh, Rithik Vena, about how they came about their company, about the material itself, a little bit more detail on how it's formed, and they had an ice throne that I sat on. All of that's coming up here within this. So let's go ahead and watch this interview. We'll listen to them. Again, this was recorded on the floor of this trade show. So if this sounds a little bit, you hear some background noise going on, that's what's happening right there. But we'll listen into this interview and then we'll come back afterward and talk a little bit more about the material and what it can do. Let's just start off with, if you guys don't mind introducing yourself. Yeah, of course. I'm Michael Marksberry, uh, co-founder and CEO of SolarCore. Hey, I'm Rithik Vena, co-founder and CEO of SolarCore. So, guys, let's start off with this. You know, SolarCore, uh, being here in Portland, you know, Portland-based, what exactly is SolarCore? Awesome question. <laughs> uh, SolarCore is a material technology company. Uh, we create the most advanced thermal materials on the planet. So, when you're talking about advanced thermal materials, can you give that for a for a layperson's definition of what that means. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, basically, we make the future of thermal yes, insulation. Okay, and and how do you go about that? What What is that? Yeah, uh, have you heard of aerogel? Yes. Amazing, okay, cool. Uh, so NASA created uh, this amazing technology called aerogel. Uh, it's the lowest thermal conductive solid in existence, meaning it's the best insulation on Earth. Now, this is what NASA used to insulate spacecraft like the Mars rovers and whatnot. Okay. Uh, so really incredible material. It has one really big challenge. If I were to poke this any harder, it would shatter into a thousand little pieces. So this is something you'd see. Now, I don't want to shatter it, uh, but this is something. So you, you would see this lining, say, uh, you know, rover. Mars rover. Yeah. Is this, does this go into something like a spacesuit? An astronaut suit, things like that? Uh, this is getting looked at for the next generation okay. space suit, but it's in Mars rovers, kept fuel at cryogenic levels, and okay. tanks and the like. So amazing. And it's just, it's lined with this kind of material right here. So you talked about aerogel. So that, is that what this is? That's This is aerogel right here. Okay. Uh, this is the same type of stuff NASA uses to insulate spacecraft. Okay. This is it. So how did this, how did Solar Core come up with this? So work with uh, this. we learned about aerogel, learned that it had one really big challenge. It was super brittle. So what we did <laughs> is we figured out how to take this amazing brittle material and make it not brittle so that you could use it in whatever application you want. So solar core is the first flexible, durable aerogel composite in the world. So this is utilizing that material, putting it into this is something. And as you can see, I mean, I can I, sorry, I don't want to do something I'm not supposed to do. But I mean, it's, it obviously seems very durable. It's not going to collapse or break. And so so you've used this now and you've put this into some other products. And I know we're going to be discussing that. But going back just a little bit to the company itself, how did you guys get together and decide this is what you want to get into? <laughs> cool. uh, so, uh, well, our story is pretty simple. Rith and I met in college. Uh, we grew up in Ohio. Uh, when we were sophomores in college, uh, we backpacked across Europe, climbed our first mountain. Amazing experience, one really big problem. Uh, on top of the mountain, we looked like the Michelin Man. <laughs> and so we're thinking, like, this makes no sense. There's right. got to be a way to cut the bulk, still stay warm. 
uh, came back to the U.S., we start researching the heck out of insulation, and not just like apparel, but broadly, home building insulation, cold chain packaging, defense, you name it. Uh, and what was so interesting is all of these industries struggled with the same thing we were struggling with in apparel. Uh, uh, for example, uh, take COVID. We've been shipping all of these vaccines all around the world. Vaccines are super temperature sensitive, so you got to keep them really cold uh, mm -hmm. or else they go bad. We've been throwing out $35 billion a year of temperature sensitive medication just because we haven't been keeping it cold enough for long enough to transport. Wow. Better insulation can solve that. So Rith and I quickly realized, oh my gosh, the problem's not apparel, the problem is insulation. And if we can just solve this insulation thing, we can make a massive impact across a variety of different markets. Right, uh, yeah, I mean, I can see that being applied to so many different things. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and so I got super lucky. I ended up uh, getting a scholarship created by the Mercury 7 astronauts called the Astronaut Scholarship. And through the Astronaut Scholarship, we learned about Aerojet. Uh, and so through Aerojet, we're like, oh my gosh, here's a perfect solution to solve this amazing challenge of insulation. And just bringing it all together, and that's... Yeah, so so funny enough, you know, we heard about that Aerojet material, and uh, so we, we, we bought a little sample of it online, literally a puck just like that. It's like 100 bucks. Wow, yeah, that's like, like 100, okay. I definitely yeah. don't want to break it. Yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> yeah. pricey. We're sophomores in college, so it's not really a ton of money. And so it delivers right as we're about to go take our OCAM final. So Michael and I are running out of the door, and we see the package sitting there. So we rip open the cardboard shipping box, get to that little plastic container that has the air gel in it, and immediately grab it and literally instantly figure out why it had been used. And that's how we figured out that it was so <laughs> brittle. And, and we're like, just waste 100 bucks. Yeah. Figured out exactly what to do. And so that then led us down this whole path of innovation around how we take that and put it into a, a better substrate to make it flexible and durable. And ultimately, we, we came up we came upon the way of, of doing it by taking particles of that air gel and embedding it into it. Wow. And that's how we came up with, with the solar. And that's what this is right here, looking at that. And uh, I have, uh, and we're gonna get into the material here in just a second, but I have to ask, for the Portland side of things, what brought you guys to Portland through all, this, through all these travels? Uh, so we've been really fortunate with Portland. Uh, when we first started looking uh, at places to move the company to, how many locations do we consider? We consider, I think, about 15 states, 30 or 40 wow. different cities all across the country, um, including, you know, even looking at staying in Ohio. And uh, Oregon and Portland by far were the most exciting and the most excited. Um, so cities, state, government, rolled out the red carpet, did a bunch of site tours to show us the city, show us real estate. Um, also, uh, Business Oregon uh, helped us integrate in with the with the uh, local area and then also gave us some funding uh, to move out here. And we moved here, I think, in May of 2019, and uh, it's been home ever since. It's been awesome. Nice. Another big benefit uh, has been access to talent. Yeah. Uh, you can imagine working in fibers and fabrics and textiles. This is an amazing place to be. Uh, with the industry presence here. And then also, I'd say personally, access to the outdoors has been huge. Yeah. Uh, Rith is officially better than me at skiing. Uh, uh, <laughs> your words, not mine. <laughs> uh, and I've been getting into kiteboarding, so. Yeah. Nice. Well, talking about that, you know, the access to the outdoors, obviously, with what you've been doing with this and converting that into these different products here, maybe we should take a look at some of those and just yeah. see what you've got. Let's do it and how this has been applied. So let's take a look at some of the applications of, of, you know, of this material itself, of solar core. Absolutely. Uh, so today we're really fortunate. We sell solar core into three main industries, commercial, government, and consumer. Uh, this trade show is very focused on consumer, where today we insulate footwear and apparel uh, for some of the leading footwear and apparel brands in the world. Uh, for example, this is Merrill's Thermal Rogue 4. Uh, powered by solar core uh, and just launched this fall. So can you give me an example of, you know, with this particular material obviously being used for NASA, what does that mean when it comes into this product? Like how cold can I get my foot Absolutely. basically? Uh, historically, the hiking community, you had a really bulky boot that really limited your mobility. Solar core allows you to completely rethink the hiking boot and reimagine a modern day insulated hiking boot. 
no, now no longer do you need that bulky boot. You can have this really thin mobile boot that provides all the insulation that that traditional really bulky boot is. So it's condensing all that down into something that's that's a little sleeker, and that's all because of the material that you figured out how to put into that. Correct, correct. And I think that actually highlights one of the other benefits to the second major benefit of solar core. We've hit the, the main one, which is insulation. The second one, which I think is, is especially pronounced in footwear, is it's a zero loft insulation, meaning it doesn't require all the bulk, like Michael mentioned, that Michelin Man experience uh -huh. on top of the mountain. This is the first insulation that's out there that's truly zero, zero bulk and zero loft. So with just two millimeters of insulation, we're able to offer so much more uh, insulation capability than what was previously out there. So that's about two millimeters of insulation in there. That's yeah, that's that seems very small. That's, very, that's a very, very small very, amount. Very small. Um, looking at this back here too, I, I mean, A, this looks really cool, but I don't, I'm not sure what I'm looking at exactly. Maybe you can tell us what this is. Uh, so when we first put solar core into a jacket, it had solar core throughout the entirety of the garment. Forbes ended up calling it the warmest jacket on earth. It was a little too warm. Uh, and so you can imagine with something that insulating, you need to strategically place it uh, in order for certain conditions, say like Pacific Northwest fall winter. Uh, so we, we hired a bunch of great engineers focused on breathability uh, and modeled how to actually apply solar core in a garment to maximize both insulation and breathability for, say, climates like the Pacific Northwest Fall Winter. So, so where do you see this kind of material going? I mean, obviously, you've got, you're in the, the footwear there. You've got this um, with these jackets. Do you see this being something that could be utilized really by, by everyone for every kind of situation or specifically colder type weather? Awesome question. Uh, our vision as a company is pretty simple. Uh, we're creating the future of thermal insulation. Uh, so whether you're talking building and structure insulation, batteries, cold chain packaging, apparel, uh, Solacore will become a brand name across all of these different applications. Wow, utilized in all those different things. That's, great. That's pretty incredible. And how long have you guys been a company? Uh, Ruth and I graduated college in 2015. Okay. Uh, that's when we sold our first product. Uh, so it's been about nine years. Wow, and that's uh, some pretty amazing growth in nine years then. So where, where do you see this uh, going in say the next nine years? In the next nine years, uh, you're familiar with Kleenex? Yeah. Uh, if we become the Kleenex of insulation, uh, Ruth and I will be pretty happy. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good goal to have right there. Well, um, anything else that you want to share with people, you know, that you think people should know about with it when it comes to this? Uh, I'd say that we're honored to be in Portland. It's been an amazing place for us to be and grow a company and a place that we're continuing to decide to grow. Nice. Um, well, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that there's a giant ice throne here behind me. Uh, tell me what, what we're looking at here with this. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's always good to have a way to demonstrate the, the, the efficacy of your products. Uh, so this is an ice throw. So this has 10 millimeters of solar core insulation inside, uh, and you'll be able to feel the temperature difference between the ice and solar core. I mean, I can tell you right now, it's ice. It's very cold. <laughs> yeah, that's freezing my hand already. So I'm going to sit on this and not feel... Apparently not feel the ice. All right. So this thing is super thin. Honestly, it feels like I'm sitting on a regular couch right now. I can, I can feel a little bit on my back, but <laughs> my back definitely. So that's really incredible. And this is just this thin. Um, yeah, for real, I, I cannot, I can't feel any of the cold coming through on this thing. So you, I could imagine this being in all kinds of different environments and, and having something being utilized like this, like I'm in space. Um, not that though, I'm not gonna do that part. Well, this is really amazing. So I wanna say thank you, you guys, you know, for having me out here too, to, to talk about this, to showcase this. Um, great demonstration right here. And again, a Portland company here uh, showcasing Change of the World. Maybe Solar Core, the next, uh, the next Kleenex. So, <laughs> awesome, thanks so much, guys. All right, so there we go. Again, that was uh, live out there at the Northwest Materials Show, which was taking place at the Convention Center last week. Uh, I do have, just to showcase a little bit more here, this is a jacket that's actually made with that material. Probably a little hard to see here on the camera, but it's extremely thin. And during that ice storm that we just had, where we had the extremely <laughs> low temperatures that we all experienced, this thin jacket kept me very, very warm. And that's all because of it's based off of that material that they created, that solar core material. This one's a few years old, so they probably have some better iterations of that that's out there now, but uh, I gotta say, this was kind of a lifesaver during that. So pretty unique and interesting use case of, of taking that NASA technology and adapting it to other things. It's something we've seen happen a lot. 
NASA develops some tech, and then eventually it makes it back down to something that we see. Now they're talking about theirs being in commercial, uh, consumer and industrial use cases, so a lot of different ways that that could go. And one other thing that uh, was said off camera, and I wanted to try to uh, tell you just a little bit about what it was he brought up. I'll see if I can get this uh, get this to pull up here. But talking about that stuff right there, so you see that that actual example of aerogel. The way that Michael described that afterward was, say you take Jello, right? You have a thing of Jello, and you somehow are able to take all the liquid out of that Jello, and you end up you end up with just the crystalline structure of what that Jello was. So all the liquid is gone. He said that's kind of what aerogel is because that is so complex and so tiny. So for heat particles to get through that, it's very difficult, and that's why you could have something really thin. Uh, to be able to to block out or, or protect, to insulate, really, uh, using that. It's not a very scientific example I just gave. That's, that's just kind of paraphrasing what Michael said, but that's, uh, that's essentially it. So I wanted to share that as well. Uh, but again, you know, local company here, so it was nice to go out and take a look at that and see what they're doing. So really, thank you to SolarCore for having us out there uh, for that. We like to take a look at companies that here are here in the in the Northwest that are doing some cool things. If you have some more suggestions for companies that you think are, are making some pretty unique products or, uh, or doing unique things with things like, like what SolarCore is doing, please feel free to send me an email. And that is fox12now at kptv.com, fox12now at kptv.com. All right, that's it for this segment though. Thank you everybody for joining in. I'm Greg Nibbler, this is Fox 12 Now.